let's take a look at example 1214. Um, okay, we have a skier reaches point A right here, and it's a parabolic path. We're given the path as x squared over 20. It says at that point he's going 6 meters per second. That's a speed, so it's tangential to the path right there. That's its velocity. Um, but to make it a velocity, we need another direction. So the first thing it asks for is the direction of the velocity. Um, then it wants to know the magnitude of his acceleration. He's also has his speed increasing of 2 meters per second at that instant. So let's take a look at the problem. We're given the coordinates. Um, we're given the path. It's a parabola. We're given it's over at 10 comma 5. It's x, y coordinates. Um, and when we look at this problem, we're going to look at it in normal and tangential components like the previous lecture, where in this case, we're going to set our origin at the person where the angle is, we don't know the angle, some angle theta. And we have a normal component going towards the radius of curvature and a tangential component that goes, or a tangential direction that goes tangent to the path. Okay, so let's find the direction of the velocity. Um, this one, uh, it's not necessarily as intuitive as you'd think, but you've done it a million times in calculus before. So if they're asking for the direction, we need that angle. Well, if we have y is equal to 1 20th x squared, doesn't the derivative literally give us the slope? So let's take dy dx. That would give us x over 10. And we would evaluate that at x is equal to 10 right here. That gives me 1. Now, where would the slope b1. That means we're going up 1 and over 1. Well, that's a 45 degree angle. So we can say theta is equal to 45. Now we have our velocity. It's 6 meters per second. Oh, sorry. Uh, 6 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees. But I would say this is going 45 degrees down that way, I would say it's 180 plus 45 degrees. So my answer would be one six or six meters per second at an angle of 180, uh, 225. All right, um, the book will probably draw it like this, I believe, at an angle of 45, which is okay, but Remember, if you put your proper angle into your sines and cosines, you will get the proper direction. So, um, now that we have the velocity, let's look at the acceleration. Um, the acceleration from our last video in these components, where we have normal and tangential components, is equal to the linear acceleration in the tangential direction plus v squared over rho in the normal direction. All right, that means we need rho. Well, we're given the function y is equal to x squared over 20. So let's take the derivative set. Uh, y prime would be x over 10 and y double prime would be just one tenth. This evaluated, um, let's go ahead and start filling this out though. Um, the formula is one plus the first derivative squared. That's why I took this derivative. And then this whole top numerator is raised to the 3 halves power. And then we're going to divide by the absolute value 
of the second derivative dy dx squared. That was ugly. So divide by dy squared dx squared. Okay, so we have the first derivative. We can start filling this out. That's equal to 1 plus, what's our first derivative? x over 10. We're going to square that and raise all this to 3 halves power. And we have the second derivative as 1 tenth. Alright, um, substituting x is equal to 10, we get the radius of curvature as 28.28 meters. So we need to hold on to that too. Put it back up into that formula. Alright, we were given that it is building speed at 2 meters per second. So that's an acceleration in the tangential direction. We also can find the normal component as v squared over rho, and we know that at that moment it's going 6 meters per second. And we just found rho. So 28.28 meters. We can calculate the Got it written down somewhere. Um, the normal component as 1.273. That would be meters per second squared. So using this and this, we can put together our vector. The acceleration is too long in the unit tangent direction plus 1.273 long in the unit normal direction. And they wanted to know the magnitude, so we can say the square root of 2 squared plus 1.273 squared gives us 2. Point that whatever I just calculated, it can't be more than 2. Or two point I'm just trying to think. Two point that sounds right. Two point three seven, yeah, meters per second squared. And if we wanted to know the angle, one we'd have to realize that we're sitting at a cocked forty five degree angle already. Our normal component would be ninety degrees in the direction from that. And we have, so let's go ahead and draw one. We have the normal component as 1.273 long. And then we have a tangential component as 2 long. So our acceleration vector looks like this. And you can find whatever angle you wanted based off of the geometry. So um, I would solve for maybe this angle where this is the opposite and this is the adjacent theta is equal to the tangent inverse of opposite over adjacent and then add that to 45 degrees and 90 degrees plus 40 oh, 45 plus 90 degrees and that would give you the angle from the x-axis. And what do we get? I think I calculated it. Uh, 192.5 degrees. I did that pretty good. Wow, so a little bit below 180 degrees is what our vector looks like. Um, Alright, so this plus this gives us our vector answer. Alright, thank you.